All right, we're gonna make this short. You guys already saw my community post. You know exactly how I feel, except it's actually even worse than I originally thought, which frankly speaking is sad. So let's go into the skills and we can talk about it. So as you guys are aware, they showed Alec being able to do direct damage, but I originally thought that his direct damage was going to be only to the main target like Levia. Unfortunately, he does direct damage to all three targets. So that means not even, has it even been a full month? Not even a full month after Octos is released, they power creep Levia. Not only is he better than Levia because he has direct damage on three tiles, he's a warrior. So that means he does it turn one. And if he's your first warrior, that means he's not even going to die until turn two because he's not going to die to reflex. So anyone who says, but he dies to reflex. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Um, and on top of that, you could still pair him together with um, with Veronia. And that that completely nullifies that entire that entire argument other than Seto. But are you going to sacrifice your Seto to 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 uh, take care of Alec? Probably. You, I don't think you have any other choice. Honestly, you would have to have Seto on the front by itself and then nothing behind him for two tiles. But here's the problem with that. If you do that, Elenir deals with him. So you run into a situation where you can only deal with so many units, right? Because Elenir is a front. You would have to put like Lucius front and and Seto behind him to be able to deal with this. And that's just, I personally think this is, this is awful game design. And this is exactly what I was trying to say in the last one. I believe it was the last video that I made, um, the video about talking about the state of the game. I don't like that they are continuing to push more and more power creep. And I don't mean normal power creep. This isn't normal levels of power creep. I've been playing this game almost two years now. I know what power creep is. This isn't normal levels of power creep. This is to a ridiculous extent. This is even worse than Seto release. Even worse than Seto release. How are you going to make a warrior that does direct damage to three tiles? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? And he, he kills. He kills Valtor, he kills Gran, he kills Lucius, obviously he deals with one of the revives, he kills Seto, what does he not kill? He kills Bane too. So, and Bane is a brand new unit, so so what does he not deal with? What does he not deal with? Why? Because he dies to to just Seto. He's, actually, Seto's the only one, maybe Bombers. Yeah, probably a Bomber, depending on his HP. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I have a feeling Bombs will be able to deal with him. But who wants to who wants to bring in a bomb? Who wants to bring in a four star fixed damage bomb to deal with Alec? And how is that going to help you if he also has Chris and Ellen here in the team? What are you going to do then? What if he has the bases covered? What what the fuck are you going to do? Okay. All right. So this is a typical stuff. He gains attack. All right. So you guys go. This is the normal stuff. But this is the egregious part. This is the problem. This is too much. Honestly, even the main damage, direct damage is too much. But to three tiles? You guys are fucking kidding me. Really, guys? And there's people out here defending this? I, I refuse to believe that anyone is defending this other than people that own Alec. And even among Alec users, this is not a defensible like, well, since I own Alec, that must be a good update. No, it's fucking bad because it makes people quit. That's the fucking problem. Do you guys not understand that? It doesn't matter if it benefits you in the temporary. If people fucking quit the game, who the fuck are you going to play against? No one. You're not going to play against anyone. That was the problem with the Seto update. If you didn't have a bunch of units to deal with that stupid ass fucking meta, which we were still dealing with yesterday, who the fuck is going to play the game? The vast majority of people at the top end have quit. Some people still log in. I still log in daily. I do my guild wars, but I don't attack an arena. And if I don't attack an arena, you're not going to get any defense wins. Have you guys noticed that the amount of attacks you get on defense has gone down considerably? You guys notice that? It's because people aren't attacking. You guys notice that 
most of the top players have gone down in rank with a couple of, of, of exceptions that are still grinding out, mostly whales. That's the problem with power creep that's too bad. If power creep isn't managed properly, people stop playing the game. Go look at the data. I know it's hard you guys don't work for the company and obviously I have no problem with the English devs, right? I don't have a problem with them. My problem is with the Korean devs because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know what the hell they're doing. What are you doing? Is this an update to make KR even a higher level above other servers? Is this what you're doing? Are you doing this for KR server? That doesn't make any sense. KR makes way less money than the other servers do because KR players already have every unit. They don't need to spend for this shit. They don't need to have this extra advantage baloney because they already have an advantage over us, which you can clearly tell if you look at World Arena. Look at the past World Arenas. Go look at the past World Arenas. Who do you think is in the top 10 the majority of the time? It's Koreans. Did you notice that? Did you forget that we're two years, three years behind KR in terms of resources and that we can't catch up physically? It's impossible. We can't catch up. You can't buy AC. We are never going to get those books. That's why I was asking for compensation before they said that they were going to do this fucking uh, speed up bullshit. Before they even said that they were going to speed up the servers. The moment they said that, I asked, are we going to get compensation? Because you realize if you're going to do World Arena and you're going to push us forward, you're going to accelerate us to be in the same patch as KR, which we are now. And we're still going to be behind 24 legend books. And we're going to be behind thousands of AC. What do we do with that? What do we do with that disadvantage? KR players have every legend unit. But what about global players? How many people own Alec? How many people own Alec plus 12 or 15? A handful? Maybe 10? 20? Out of thousands of players? So where does this leave everyone else in terms of competing? Because at the rate that this is going, I have a feeling. And feel free to come watch this video again in the future if I'm right. I have a feeling they're going to merge all the servers because now everyone is on the same patch and it doesn't make it doesn't make much sense to not have all the patches and all the servers and everything conjoined into one. So if they do merge the servers, do you guys not realize how awful that would be for us as players? Even now, it's already bad. What are you guys going to do now? Every single person that owns Alec is immediately going to go skyrocket in rank. He's going to deal with so many units that it's it's almost to the point where if we even had resources, we would we would instantly buy him. He's an instant buy. There's no point in not getting him. But you know what the problem is? Octos just released last month. Who has resources? How many of you guys have legend books? How many of you guys have AC? How many of you people have diamonds to buy Alec companions? None of you. Because you all use it on Octos. That's the problem with power creep. At least if it was far apart, like if this was three, six months down the line, you know what? You'd probably have stuff left because you'd probably be saving for a while now. But it's only been a month. Most of the people aren't even done with units. I got incredibly lucky and I have both um, Seto and I have Levia done. But most people aren't at that. Most people only have one done and they're still working on Seto or Lucius or whatever. Do you guys not understand how bad this is? This is awful. This kind of update for these characters, instead of making these characters trash for seven months, seven fucking months, instead of making them bad for seven months, why didn't they update this before, during the sixth devil update? Or why didn't they update it before the Octo update? Why didn't they do that? Why did they do this a month after Octo's release? Okay, Alec is a problem. What else? What about Celia? Celia is not a problem. She was trash before. What about Celia? Oh, she has a new uh, a new attack type called Aura that goes through all all types. It goes through debuff immunity. It goes through gra uh, Gram Reflect. It goes through uh, units that can't be buffed or debuffed like Seto. And it curses. So that means, in case you guys can't think about it, she can curse Levia before her turn, which is even worse. She can curse enemies before her turn so that when she attacks and also when she charges up on turn one everyone has reduced stats now that means that even at plus zero as a matter of fact even at plus zero it's 10 percent so technically to some extent this might even be a slot in for guild war or for ua because you just plop her down and now all those 100 percent defense units that are usually in skip position well now they don't have 100 percent defense 
Well, I mean, if they don't have 100% defense, you can kill them with pretty much anything, right? You can use Chris? Chris can deal with that. Just use Chris and she'll kill all the 100% defense and skip. Even though it's only, you know, they'll probably have, what is that, 35% reduction? So 35% reduction, no, 25%. So we're at 75% defense. Okay, well, 75% defense with Chris, if she's double buffed, she should be able to deal with that, regardless of the unit. Okay, what else? Well, she has a stigma that also silences, and it removes buffs, that, and it ignores debuff reflection and flame guard. That means that she can stigma any enemy that doesn't have debuff immunity. So this, this works through Gran, this works through Seto, right? So they'll have 95% reduced stats. So to some extent, I suppose you can consider this very similar to a Seto nerf, which is sort of what I was asking for, except I didn't want it to be this fucking awful. This is bad. This is not the kind of Seto counter that we needed. This is not a good one. And then the worst part is, guess what? Oh, you guys remember this part, right? The nullifier and silence part? Oh, that means that she could silence and nullify Gran, which means that she can remove taunt and she can stop people from taunting. Oh, well, I mean, why would anyone, why would anyone want to deal with taunts? Just have her go first and she'll just silence everyone and remove any taunts that happen to be up and any buffs as well. She's just going to remove all the buffs unless they can't be removed. Okay. Are you guys kidding me, guys? Really? Really? Bro. Come on, man. Why? Why is this even necessary? And I do apologize. I'm ranting right now because this is so unnecessary. This didn't need to happen this way. If they just balanced properly and just made incremental, slight power creeping, that would have been fine. But they fucked up. And I told you. When they did Seto, that for them to continue this path, they're going to have to make worse and worse units. And when I say worse, I don't mean worse as in like, they're not good. I mean worse as in like more egregiously fucking OP. And this is exactly what this is. Except this isn't a new fucking banner. These aren't new units. They're updating them. You know what? I think I had said it in the community post, but I said that if he's not direct damage to just one target if he's even stronger than that if he's really that op i was gonna quit i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait a while i'm gonna see how the meta goes i'm 100 percent certain it's gonna go exactly how i think it is i'm gonna check kr i'm gonna check global i'm gonna see how op they are and they're very op and then i'll decide now this will probably be the second to last video that I ever make on Brave 9, if it's as bad as I think it is. And the last one will, assuming I still do it, be the tournament at the end of this month for global server. If this is as bad as I think it is, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it is as bad as I think it is, I will still do the tournament, but I will stop playing this game after that. Because... Clearly, KR doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. And I don't want to play games that are this volatile. No offense. Now, it's unfortunate, obviously, because I, I would prefer to leave the game in a happy note. Like, oh, well, you know, I'm playing Sino now, so I need to stop playing a game. And I still like this game, but blah, 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 blah. But it's not. I don't want to leave a game because the game fucked up. I'd rather leave a game because I need to do something with my time, make more videos or stream or, or play another game or a job or whatever. But it's not that it's because the game fucked up and I'm not the only one who thinks this. You guys might not agree. We'll see. But I can tell you for sure that the landscape is going to be very different in this game. And a lot of us people who used to be playing a lot of the old top players, we're not going to be playing anymore if we still are even playing. There's a lot of us who already quit. So, I don't know. I, I guess uh, thanks for being around. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I wish you guys the best. If this doesn't kill the game, more power to them. I don't see how it's not, but if it doesn't, good for them. Um, but I'm out. Have a nice day.